we have something to do when it gets wet because the Aztecs are headed to the NCAA tournament. We got basketball watching to yes, do. Look at you finding the silver basketball lining. watching <laughs> and tonight we know who they're playing. Okay. We know when they're playing. We know where they're playing. This is Steve's story. I'm just going to let him do it. CBS 8's Jay Gary and he's going to now join Steve to lay it all out for us because this is the talk of the town. Yeah, it's our story. You know how they say the day after the Super Bowl should be a national holiday? <laughs> I think Selection Sunday should also be a right? national holiday. Yeah, right. I mean, this is a big day for a lot of people, right? <laughs> this is when all the fun really gets going. It's time to pack the bags and hit the road for the Aztecs. Yesterday, they took care of business in Las Vegas and this afternoon we found out as Steve mentioned not only where they will be but what seed they will be and most importantly who they will be facing. First and second round games in Orlando, Florida on Thursday and Saturday. The fifth seed Aztecs of San Diego State. Aztecs won the Mountain West regular season title for the third time in the last four seasons. They will meet the number 12 seed from the Colonial Athletic Association, the Cougars of Charleston, 31 and 3. What a <laughs> terrific season. This team knows how to win. They're deep. They shoot a bunch of threes, score the ball at a high rate. So the Aztecs get handed a five seed for all their hard work this season. They will start their March Madness tournament in Orlando, Florida on Thursday against the College of Charleston. Here's a partial look at the south region of the bracket. The seven other teams with San Diego State that want to punch their ticket to that available Elite Eight spot. Of course, that is a long way down the road, but it starts right here. And if you're like a lot of us and just found out who Charleston Cougars are, well, no need to worry. We'll break it all down for you. But first, we need to check in with the team themselves. And for that, we go to Rocia de la Fe, who was with the squad this afternoon. That's got to be an excited bunch of people, Rocio. Well, that's right. The Aztecs are coming off of a huge team win yesterday over Utah State, and they're hoping that this momentum takes them far into the next round. <laughs> Now, this is a moment when they found out they'll be traveling to Orlando to face off against a tough Charleston Cougars team, a team that has won 31 games. But the Aztecs are still pumped from their win yesterday and say they're ready for whatever comes next. Head coach Brian Dutcher says the team will study plenty of film in the days ahead to study their opponent. The team will be heading to Florida, where there will be a three-hour time difference. But Dutcher and the team says they'll be ready both physically and mentally. Play at your best, not lose a game and carry momentum into the NCAA. So that's the route we're carrying in. We've won a lot of games in a row. We've hung two banners and now we have to ride that momentum into the Thursday game. We're ready to face anybody. So, you know, really looking forward to going out there in Orlando, playing against a good Charleston team. And, you know, everybody's feeling good right now. And of course, it's not just the coaches and the teams, but Aztec fans are excited for the next round as well. We'll be here live at 630 with more on how fans are reacting. Back to you, Jake. Thanks so much, Rocio. 